morning, everybody. So I have a review for you here today. Um, I had a company that makes this Omega Power Creamer. Contact me via email and ask me if it's something that my listeners or viewers may be interested in. I said, yeah, we all drink keto coffee. We all make our own keto coffee. And this is a keto coffee blend that you actually put in your coffee. Now, I never probably would have bought it other than that they sent it to me in order to review for free. So I figured, sure, why not? Now they had a vanilla and a cocoa flavor, and then they had this original flavor. So when they contacted me, I said, yeah, I put vanilla and cocoa in my coffee uh, a lot. I like those flavors, so you know, if you send me those, I'll review them. But they sent me the regular flavor. All right, so I wanted to give you a brief look and overview of the bottle here. Omega Power Creamer Butter Coffee Made Easy. It says it's sugar-free and all you have to do is blend and enjoy. It's got grass-fed ghee, coconut oil, and MCT oil. 20 servings, which is 10 ounces. Original blend is the one that I got here. Easy recipe. Blend one tablespoon into six ounces of coffee for an instant delicious latte. It did blend in easily. One tablespoon, servings per container, 20, 120 calories in a tablespoon, 14 grams of fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, no sodium, no carbohydrates, and no protein. So it's great if you're doing a fat fast. Here's our ingredients, organic grass-fed ghee, organic for extra virgin coconut oil, medium train triglyceride or MCT oil, sunflower lecithin, contains tree nuts and milk. So that's your allergy information there. No trans fats. Naturally simple. Powercreamer.com. They also sell it on Amazon, which is where my links down there will be for. Omega Power Creamer is changing the way you drink coffee. An all-in-one creamer takes the mess and hassle out of making butter coffee. Just pour in, blend up, and enjoy a more powerful cup of coffee. I will say, it was very easy to clean up uh, because I, all I had to clean was the tablespoon that I measured it in as well as my milk frother. So it definitely is convenient to have it all in one package. It's um, just like what you would expect if you put butter or... Um, MCT oil in your coffee, which I've done several times, so it tastes very familiar to me. And the ingredients are very simple. I do appreciate that. It's organic grass-fed ghee, it's organic extra virgin coconut oil, MCT oil, and sunflower lecithin. So you get 10 ounces. I looked it up on Amazon. It looks like they're selling it for $20 a bottle. Uh, it says that it is 20 servings, so that's a dollar per serving. Now, I've tried it, and uh, I would have to add flavor to it of some sort in order to enjoy it, but it is tolerable regardless of whether you add anything to it or not. The blend is pretty smooth. I think that it probably tastes better than straight MCT oil. Uh, it's nice that it has the MCT oil in addition to the ghee because if you just put butter in your coffee, that you're not getting the benefits of the MCT oil. So I do like that it's a blend. I looked at their reviews. They have very good reviews. They have uh, several hundred reviews last, uh, if I recall correctly. And people who were reviewing it and giving it good ratings really thought that it was great to take on the go. So if you uh, wanted to leave some at work or if you were traveling and you wanted to take it, it was very convenient. And I do agree with that. Because it's all in one small bottle, I do think it would be much more convenient to store at a place like that at work or at your place of business. Uh, if I were going to have the same blend at home, I would just uh, buy the items separately and then mix them together, maybe even mix them together in a jar ahead of time, uh, simply for cost savings. Because $20 is pretty expensive for 10 ounces in my opinion. But the ingredients are good, the flavor is okay. I would personally try to get either the vanilla or the chocolate flavor because, I mean, who doesn't want a little extra flavor in their coffee? Now, if you do decide to get some and take it on the go or take it to work, you're still going to have to have some method to blend it with. Uh, you could use a shaker bottle. I'm sure that would probably work, 
but that seems like a, a big hassle and a lot to clean. So I've showed you before, this is what I use. It's a milk frother. And I've had this same milk frother for a couple of years now and I've used it quite often. The batteries last a long time in it and uh, it hasn't had any problems. And it just, it's got a little cage at the bottom and you turn it on and it's basically like a little handheld blender. You can't be blending thick things like a smoothie or anything like that, but it would pair perfectly with something like the power creamer or even a blend of your own that you made. I do think that the product is good and I do think it's super convenient. So if convenience is your priority when it comes to it, uh, because of traveling or because of leaving at work, then I could recommend the product. Uh, otherwise, I would stick with my MCT oil and butter at home that way I could uh, get a better price on the ingredients. But it is a, it is a nice looking bottle, it is a quality bottle, uh, so for travel I do think that it would probably work out well for you. Anyway, I'll put a link down below to the original flavor, the vanilla flavor, the chocolate flavor if you want to try it out for yourself. And I'll also put a link to the milk frother that I'm using which is, that's only five or six dollars if I recall correctly. Like I said, it's been a couple years since I bought it. But it's definitely worth it if you're a keto or bulletproof coffee drinker. Let me know below if you guys have an alternate product that you like or if you've used this one before with good results and you enjoy buying it. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you later.